We get buttons, we get baubles, we get wood, we get trimmings, we get the most amazing and eclectic range of goods. So it's an absolute treasure trove to come in and just see what's there from week to week. We are a reused charity, which means we're basically trying to help the planet. We're trying to give a second life to things that would otherwise end up in incineration and landfill. It's a membership-based organisation here in Tooting. You, you pay a fee depending on what sort of person you are, whether you're an individual, a family, a school teacher. For example, um, an art student might only pay £30 a year. They can come twice a week and take as much as they want. Then we have home educators, we have community organisations, we have fear groups, we have schools. What's in store varies from week to week and depending on what suppliers have given us what materials. We get uh, beautiful donations from big high street names and we get donations from families and are a band of um, amazing, about 30 volunteers, sift through all the wonderful donations we get in. They discard some but mostly we keep everything and we present it in really nice ways that you want to take. So they do a lot of sifting, presenting, cutting, bagging up. I can't praise them enough, they're just fantastic. <laughs> We'll process things, so it, everything gets sort of bound up into little, sort of easy takeaway pieces. Is there anything suitable for dressmaking? We usually do three metre pieces, so people could make a coat or a dress or something similar. And these beautiful wallpapers. The manufacturers who make these will make for rich people and the royal family, <laughs> right? So we have the very best papers that come in here. I've never seen anybody leave empty-handed, um, you know, and some people save up to perhaps about £200 or more. I wonder. It's a no-brainer, it's a win-win. <laughs> and we're saving the planet as well. You think that most state school budgets for art materials is just 7p per child per year. So when they come here, they can pick up all the stuff they need to, to teach children, all those lovely creative arts, which they can pick up for free, so that helps them stretch their budgets. All the pencils we get in get sharpened by our volunteers, bundled up. So there's really everything that you could stock up your classroom or your office with. Again, the good tip is bring a large bag, I think, as you can probably see from all this stuff. We like to think that we're educating children and local residents to up the idea about upcycling and recycling, giving things a second life, not always buying new. And then, of course, in a broader sense, we divert over 60 tonnes of materials away from landfill and incineration each year. So that's the big impact, that we're just saving um, stuff from going there and obviously saving the planet in our very small way. Mm -hmm.